YouTube. So, your favorite baddie, Germany Bad, is back with another video, clearly, okay? So, I've been seeing, I've been getting, you know, a lot of attention on my most recent lock video. So, I'm here to show y'all me combining two of my locks because I have some really skinny locks that need to get handled, okay? So, I'm gonna also be answering the questions that i seen y'all had in the comments a lot of questions actually more questions that i could have even expected real quick i just want to say i am so grateful for all of my new subscribers i'm so grateful for y'all comments i just wanted to say really you know thank y'all for the support um so let's get to business okay so i showed y'all this single prong tool However, I forgot to show you guys that this actually came in a kit with three different tools. So here we have this single prong hook, the double prong, and the triple prong. Now, they're for different things. I'm gonna start on my two locks that I wanna combine. And while I'm doing that, I will answer questions that I see in the comments. Now, first I need to find which locks I want to use. Now I have some really, first of all, the first lock that I ever combined on my head was this lock right here. This one, this is two locks actually. And I combined them right here on this little edge piece. So maybe I should do that. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take these two locks that are beside each other. And as you see, I have a bead up here that I'm gonna have to do something with later, but. Anyways, so let's get to business, okay? So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the end of one of the locks. Now, I'm gonna like untwist this a little bit so I can have some space. So yeah, you see how tiny this lock is? Look how tiny it is. And then for example, like my locks in the back are much bigger. Like, look at the difference. So, take the end of this and pull it through the roof like this. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Boom! Now it's in a lock that through. Okay? Take my hook, single prong hook, and start on it. I'm gonna go through both of the locks. As you can see, it's through both of the locks, right? Then take all this frizzy hair like that, and you wanna pull the frizz through okay and you want to just keep doing that pull the frizz through continue to rotate it while you do it now oh that was a question that i did see which was i'm glad i remembered so i seen a question that asked do you rotate it the way your locks are retwisted yes okay when I say rotate it, I don't actually mean like literally twist the whole thing. Like no. For so what I'm doing is you see it's already forming right there. Look at that. I didn't barely even do anything. <laughs> Anyways, so you want to grip like this, right? And when I say rotate, what I mean is so you want to just go through, right? And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna do a slight like rotate so that I can get the frizz from this lock now into this lock and then I'm gonna go back so I'm not gonna keep going this way keep rotating keep rotating keep rotating the only reason that I'm rotating is simply to get the frizz from one lock to the next lock so I don't want just this top like the top part of the locks to look good I want all of it right so I, I would also go backwards like so instead of just turning it this way to go through i will also go backwards this way so this was very helpful i hated using rubber bands on my ends Whew, that probably will never lock if you do it that way where are you located yes i got that question a lot i'm located in norfolk virginia okay if y'all want to come see me dm me on instagram germany bad with two d's okay I got you. I got you. So hit me up, okay? Um, can I do that myself? I can't find anyone to do that for me. Yes, that's what I'm showing y'all. I'm showing y'all how 
to get this done on your own okay i put the link in my in the um description box of the last video i'm gonna do that for this video too just in case y'all missed it um but yes i got a lot of comments asking me to do y'all locks and i'm like of course i'll do your locks sis um yes somebody said best video yet about to get these money back okay go get that money honey boy if you don't um have a question did you turn his locks clockwise yes told y'all that already will this work with baby locks mine aren't fully formed yet Ooh, that is a actually a very good question my question with that is that i don't know like if babe if your baby locks have any frizz to do this with oh okay for example i know i know exactly what to tell you sis black queen k now what's very important to understand is that if you have if you're in the ugly stage of your locks, um, which a lot of people go through the ugly stage, but you don't have to go through the ugly stage. You can actually get this done with your loose natural hair and form instant locks. Now, like I said, I actually mentioned that in my last video. If you um, want to know more about instant locks, if y'all want to see me do um, an instant lock on somebody, I got y'all okay so just let me know you know it's pretty much the same exact way but if y'all want to see me do it i got y'all um but yeah so like i was saying you can um get get this done with baby locks if you want to combine your locks and get you some wicks girl you can do that it's very possible so yeah if you want to combine your locks your baby locks i mean with this same technique you can also remove your baby locks if you don't want your baby locks no more and get instant locks and you don't have to worry about locking like ha have to worry about like your hair taking forever to lock or like whatever i don't actually remember how long my hair took to lock um i don't think it took that long because i'm not one of those people i wasn't one of those people who like you know wash the crap out of their hair like I, when i first got my locks i knew that it would take even longer to um for my hair to lock if i was continuously washing my hair ouch somebody gave me some great advice about um parting i'm gonna shout out three stunner bands shout out the three stunner bands okay i appreciate your advice about using a razor instead of pulling hair but you know sometimes people don't want no razor close to their head you know what i'm saying especially locks i would never ever even if i i don't go to a um, loctician or anything like that but even if i did i would not let them come close to me with no razor trying to part my locks no ma'am you better use your fingers um but that is a great idea um thanks so much somebody said should the hair be washed or dry now the hair should be dry okay um well i'm not a professional first of all let's get that out of the way i'm not a professional telling y'all from my experience and um what i know i did go to cosmetology school i didn't get my license because i used to play too much in high school um you know and yeah so anyways so um as i was saying the hair should be dry you don't want to do this on wet hair well in my opinion you don't want to do this on wet hair because wet hair is slippery hair okay and we don't want to be um i already told y'all that this is a very dangerous tool okay and so you don't want you know to, to do wet hair somebody asked am i german no i'm not german my name is germany i'm not german that's just my name my mom came up with that very beautiful name um what about skinny mature locks okay so that's a very great question um kiki heard so mature locks are gonna be more difficult to um they're gonna be more difficult to work with okay um i say that because mature locks have less frizz you see people who have had their locks for a really 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 long time and you see that really the only frizzy part that you can see in their hair is where their their roots um 
where their roots is. I mean, ouch. See what I'm talking about? Anyways, um, yeah, so with with mature locks, it's going to be very difficult. Well, not very difficult, but it's going to be more difficult because you have less frizz, you know? Like, um, my locks are pretty frizzy, but that's because I don't, I don't, I don't really mind frizz. Like, when I retwist my hair, I, I don't do um, two strand twists during, throughout the whole lot unless I plan on actually wearing it, which I never do. Um, I usually just do two strand twists where my roots is, like what needs to be retwisted. And then the rest is always just really frizzy. So, with my locks, my, I would say my locks are pretty frizzy, but um, I've had my locks for four years now. I just want to show y'all where we're at so far this is what we got so far okay and i will you know be back when i get a little bit closer to the end to show y'all guys what i got okay so yeah as y'all can see i'm getting somewhere i can't really see as good as y'all can because my mirror is really far <laughs> far away but um it's coming along, okay? It's coming along. It's part up here. Uh, I don't know if y'all gonna watch this whole video or what, because I know it's gonna be all over the place. But, um, yeah, another technique that I learned when doing this, okay, I don't even know if y'all gonna be able to see what I'm talking about. So, for example, I can't even see what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this, right? This. There's a little, there's a line. There is a line right, exactly right here that I can see that that's where the two locks meet. So to get rid of that is to find that section, right? So the section is right here under my index finger, right? Instead of going through like the middle of the lock, I would say go through that top, top layer like that right so we're gonna just go through the top layer to get rid of those little lines on the outside it doesn't matter what it looks like on the inside okay because nobody's looking in the inside of your locks They're, they see the outside and if it looks like two locks it was two locks if it looks like one lock then who gonna check you nobody okay nobody so that is a good technique to get rid of those little lines. And as you can see, they are disappearing, the lines. One thing that's very important is you want to make sure that you're actually holding the lock very um, tightly between your fingers. The locks, both of them. Um, see, all day. And then with me, like, I'm definitely a perfectionist. So if I feel or see just one little spot that I um, feel is opening or like um, not tight together, then I will continue to go over it until I feel satisfied. Um, some people aren't like that. Some people go through the whole lot, go down and be like, oh, I see a little opening, but they'll be okay. They won't notice. So I just wanted to show y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see. But I just wanted to show y'all. I think that I didn't get my palm. Well, I did get it, but I don't think I had no storage on my phone. So I'm going to just go over this again. Palm roll. Put that pressure on your palm roll. Like I told y'all in the last video, don't forget. It's very important that you got to put some pressure on your palm roll. So elbow grease, some strength, okay? I just wanted to show y'all this final lock. What it looked like. Make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how well I did 1 through 10, okay? Did I do a good job? Did I do a bad job? Let me know, okay? I want to show y'all my locks real quick. I hope y'all can see that. And I also just want to say, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank y'all so much for the support that y'all been giving me. I really do appreciate it. And lastly, I just wanted to say, make sure that you stay the baddie that you are, sis, because you are that, okay? Man, I gotta maintain. Don't
gon' take my shine Say, man, I got 